Hello, welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and tonight I like to do paint a uh, tiger shark that I made a few weeks ago. And I'm going to show you how to paint that from start to finish. And this is the tiger shark right here. In, uh, it's a very interesting shark because they almost have like tiger stripes on the side as you can see on the model that I made. And I'll show you how to do that from start to finish. The types of paints we'll be using tonight are these Liquitex paints, which can be brought in any art store, and they're acrylic paints. So we're going to be having, like, we have some browns, we have a pink, we've got black, we have, like, um, some gr a gray and a white, and we're just going to use all those different colors for what we need to do. The first thing that I want to do on the shark is I want to paint the inside of the mouth. So we're going to use a pink color for the inside of the mouth. I'm going to put that right there, and I'll show you what we'll do. We're going to take, I've got one of my brushes here, and we're going to paint inside the mouth right here pink. Right there. I'll kind of flip it so you can see it. right there. And then I'm going to flip it upside down. You might be able to get a better view. Then I'm going to paint the top part. See that? Kind of a hard angle to get at. So we got just need to swish it around, make sure I get everything. So we can see that we got the pink color in the mouth right there. The next thing that I want to do is I want to paint, we will do titanium, what, uh, that's, that's the color, it's, it's like, um, it's like an off-white color, let's just call it, for, refer to it as that. I'm going to put that there, we're going to use that for the teeth. So I'm going to take that, I can move these out of the way so we can keep things so we can see everything. So now we're going to get the, the teeth here. I'm going to paint those. See that? Now we're going to paint the bottom too, so I'll flip them, make it a little easier for me to paint. See that? What I might try to do is now we'll try to get the other side. That way we can get both sides of the teeth. See how I did that? The next thing that we want to do is I want to paint to get the right, I want to paint black. So I'm going to put both black right here. I'm going to use that for the eyes and let's see, let's 
what are we? The eyes, the nostrils. So the nostrils are right under the nose. So I want to take and put the black paint right in here. This way it'll make it more visible once we've got the color in there. And then we also want to paint the eyes. Nice black color right here. so lightly. See that? See how nice that looks? Make sure I got the entire eye. Yep. Looks like I got that, and then I'll check here on this side too. Yep, see how nice that looks? And another area I also want to add black to is to kind of give it some depth is this gill slits on the side here. So I'm going to try to paint in there a little bit. Might not be easy to get in there, but this will add some color to it. We're going to come back in over that and, and paint it over it again with a gray. So, and Now we'll try to get those gill slits there. See that? It's kind of hard to get in there. But you'll see, I'll, I'll fix that. At least we got the color in there. And it'll look a lot better later. Okay, so now that we've got that, another thing that I want to do is we want to paint the underside of the shark white. So what I'm going to do is put the white over here. We're going to paint the underside of the shark white. I can kind of show you, see, with my model here, I'm going to paint this right here, this area here, and this area here white. So now, See that? I'm going to paint that white right there. Paint the other the other fin layer, white. See how we're doing that. And we're just gonna paint that like that, so you can see it. We can paint that right there. I'll flip them back over again. And the top of the snout, you always want to make that white too. 
That's why I did the black nostrils there. So it would contrast nicely with the white. Trying to paint around the eye. And now we'll go over this side and do the same thing. See that? Paint that like that. Try to get the white around the eye. Paint a little white here. Paint the underside of the jaw there, see that? See that? And that's the color you'd want for that. Now what I'm going to do, so this dries a little quicker, we'll do like we did before, we'll take the hair dryer. That appears to be done enough. The thing that we want to do now is we want to flip it over and now we want to paint the top side of the shark or the, we want to use uh, like a neutral gray or a light gray. Put that right there. Now we're going to take, we're going to paint that with this now. So now, see this we're getting here? I'll paint the other fin. Just like that, we're going to dab it a little bit. Dab that on top like that. Just like that. See how I'm dabbing around the gill, the gill slits there like a little bit? Now we'll paint the, the fin there. Just like that. Really coming along nice. See that? Paint that and see how we're doing that. Now 
Now we'll flip over the other side. Let me get right here. See how that is? Just like that. Then I'm going to paint that. You know what I'm going to do? I want to paint these here. I'll paint these gray here too. See how I did that? Those two. And this here underneath, we'll paint that gray. And then we're going to finish painting here. So you can see right there. See how we painted that? So you get the white underside. Now you get the gray up top. It gives it a nice effect. I'm just going to kind of dab a little bit here, darken that a little bit underneath, underneath there. You don't want to cover up the white completely, but just darken it up a little bit. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take another brush and I, I did mention the gill slits. What we're going to do just kind of add a little more gray to the top of them. See that? Just, just ever so slightly touch. Do the same to the other side. A little dab of gray. And we did that. Now, the next thing that we want to do, I just want to dry my hands a little bit. I want to go back to my original model that I had painted. And we're going to add another color. We're going to add dab. My eyes get a little watery here, so. <laughs> the, we have like a, a brown color here. And I'm going to put that right here. And that, what we're going to do there is we're going to take that and then ever just so gently, I'm just going to dab a little bit here and there. See that? You're not going to cover up the gray completely, but you're going to you're going to add a little bit of a little see that I darken it up a little bit. Just going to kind of Darken it up a little bit here. See that? Even underneath, we're going to maybe add a little bit here. Just, just touch it ever so slightly. And then we're going to kind of dab a little bit here this area. See how I'm doing that? And we're just going to add a little bit of color here and there. Just going to darken it up a little bit. Because the tiger sharks do have like uh, a little bit of brown. They have gray, white. So I just want to be subtle with this and just kind of add a little bit at a time. See that? You don't want to cover the gray completely, but just kind of dab it on. Like 
like that. See how we're doing that? Keep darkening it up a little bit. See how we're doing that? It's really giving it a nice effect. That's what you try to blend the colors a little bit. See how I'm doing that? Yeah, you get a, get a little flick here, a little flick there. And the same for the other side. See that? I'm gonna little flick here, a little flick, you know. Just like that. Little flicks to add some color. See how nice that looks? It's really coming along nicely now. The other thing that we want to add to the shark is I'm going to get a darker brown color, the darkest brown that I have here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make stripes on the shark because it's known as a tiger shark. So I'm going to put that right there. And then what I want to do just to make sure I'm consistent with the, the model I made previously See how we got stripes? They go all the way down here and down to here. The shark there, you can see them. I'm just going to rotate it. We're going to make those, and I'm just going to keep it placed like this so I can kind of concentrate and see what I'm doing with my, um, my model here. So this i going to put something here. So you take these, just going to dab it on ever so slightly. Make it subtle. See how we did that? Just gonna dab it on there. Just like that. You know, just you know, make see how nice that's really starting to look. Just gonna kind of work our way right down to the tail. I'm 
Now, I'm going to come back up here and do the same thing. I'm going to continue down. squiggly line here. Now, see how we did that on one side? I'm going to proceed to do the same thing on the second side. I'll just show you. Just like that. See how nice that's really beginning to look? You have all these colors blended together. It makes it look a lot better. See that up there? And we did the all the nice lines and everything. So now, see how nice that looks with all both sides? And we had completed that. I'll show you with the final version will look like before. Once this dries, you would take your high your high coat gloss here. You'd spray it. Spray it outside because it smells awful. And uh, I would probably wear gloves when you do it too. And just spray it. Uh, I would probably spray the bottom first if you want, then spray the top. Let it dry a little bit. And then, um, then once it's dry, you can handle it and everything. But it'll give it a really nice uh, finish. And I'll show you what the final version will look like. The final version of your tiger shark will look like this when it's completed. See how beautiful that looks? The top, see how that beautiful brown color? The gill slits, how you had the black in there, the black eye. You know, I'll, I'll rotate them around so we can you can see them from this side. But uh, and then we have the white underside, and then like you see the teeth. See that? See how nice that looks? But that's what your uh, finished version of your tiger shark will look like when it's completed. I do want to thank you for coming to the Creations of Clay, and I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.